Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Can we skip to the good part? Can we skip to Team of the Year? Because that's where I feel like most of the hype is trending on this game, and I feel like you and me were ready for Team of the Year, right? Even yesterday's content inside of Foot Centurions, the current promo, is leading us towards Team of the Year. An 83 times 10 pack, what a better SBC to have to save for Team of the Year. So what I want to talk about today is what stands between us and Team of the Year, and that is one more week of Foot Centurions team number two we should hopefully learn a little bit of information about team two today via a loading screen and maybe some leaks i don't have high hopes for this team two but could there be some cool cards some marquee players in it like neymar ben Yedder, and trent from this week potentially so we'll talk about that of course and how the market continues to be pretty stagnant except for one of the leaks that we do have there have been a lot of market movements around premier league and english players for a declan rice sbc that maybe is today so we'll talk about that and also ea's doing some huge eight hour maintenance so as you're watching this video you may not even be able to log into fifa right now they're shutting the game down for a while so we'll talk about that and what that could mean for the game today as well on a thursday in fifa 23 if you're excited for the video hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about centurions team too because we have like no information it honestly feels a lot like last week where we were kind of coming into the first week of the centurions promo like what in the world are we going to see? We had no leaks. We had a loading screen with the card de design, and that was it. What my hope is with the second week of Centurions is they can check some players off the list that we have been wanting since the beginning, right? EA, add these players in. I'm not expecting a big team of amazing players because, again, this Foot Centurions promo is just kind of a filler promo before a team of the year anyway, so I don't expect it to be any more hype than this team one, but inside of this team one, we did have some marquee players, Neymar, Ben Yedder, Kimpembe, Trent Alexander-Arnold, all we're asking for is some of those players that we dreamed about since the promo and the idea of this promo started. Marco Royce, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, right? This card specifically. Maybe a David De Gea, right? There's plenty of other options out there that people would really like to see in Centurion's promo. Hopefully we get a couple really cool cards and we at least get a first knowledge of those cards today. I really do feel like a part of today's content on Thursday will be a loading screen showing us three more cards. Like that's a normal Thursday thing. I feel like that's a pretty... Uh, not too crazy thing to expect from EA today. And then, of course, along with that, we should start to get some leaks about what cards are going to be in this Centurion's promo, right? Like we talked about from yesterday's content inside of this Team 1 of Centurions, um, the content that we got with the 83 times 10 upgrade is pushing us towards Team of the Year. And it's like, that's what this promo, if we remember it, kind of what its source is and what its reasoning is to be in the game. It's kind of just filler content. We had great winter wild cards. We have an okay Centurions, but it makes us want more for team of the year. We talked about that in yesterday's video. So that's why I don't have super duper high hopes for the Centurions team number two, but Hopefully, there's a couple really cool cards in there like we just mentioned. So, moving on a little bit more, let's talk about this SBC because it is moving the market like crazy. The 83 times 10, and I want to show you something from this. I opened one of these yesterday just to take my shot and, of course, packing maybe a cool Centurion card like Neymar Yetter or Kimpembe. And then I was like, I'm going to save the other one for Team of the Year. But what I put here into the squad is the actual players that I got from the 83 times 10. This exactly... This squad is what I got, right? I got one inform, one walkout, and the rest was very average. The best part about this 83 times 10 and what impacted the market most about this is that it was repeatable twice in one day, twice, and there's no refresh time. It's just gonna expire on Friday, but you could do it twice. That pushed 85s up like crazy. And the fact that you get 10 players back in this SBC, it's very craftable. I think that this SBC is actually pretty good value. I know it's a gamble, right? You can see I didn't get a very good pack, but I put the pack that I got, I can slap that right back in. And actually, all I have to do is add an 81 and I can take out like 84. Um, I can take out Bonucci. Can I take out Ami Martinez? I can take out a couple 84s and still come out on top with another 83 times 10 pack. So I like this pack. I think it's good value and I will be doing that again and saving the second one for team of the year. But since that was repeatable two times and since people liked it, the value of that SBC fodder went crazy. 50,000 coins to do this. Again, you save that for team of the year. That's a really good pack for team of the year with all the special cards. When the full team of the year is out, when the honorable mentions are in, 
there's a really high potential to get some really special cards in that pack. That's what a lot of people are saving for. And of course, that made fodder go crazy. 85s, right? This was unexpected. We knew and we talked about yesterday that there could be another sort of gamble pack, but you didn't expect this to happen, right? And the reason the 85s went up as much as they did is because anytime you see this, this is the magic kind of like, I don't know, it's like the magic equation for fodder this year. EA's been doing this, right? They do a minimum rating, but then they require two or three players of that rating or above. That makes that whatever that specific rating is absolutely explode. And it was 85. You can't guess this stuff. You can't like predict this stuff that often. It's just kind of random. And 85s have gone bananas. A lot of them are almost extinct, right? 15,000 coins for 85s. They're basically the same price as 86s. It's even made 86 rated cards go up in value because 85s went extinct around 14 to 15k where a lot of them have their price caps set. Um, honestly, guys, I know this SPC is still here today. I don't believe it's going to, obviously, not refreshing. It's going away. So your peak demand was probably yesterday and maybe a little bit more today on those 86s that could rise up a bit more. I'm not expecting that these 85s get price range updates and go higher. I feel like this is the max for 85s. This is like the highest they've been all year. I would sell 85s if you have them. And most of fodder today, I would look to sell as well. There is maybe just a slight chance that EA could drop another sort of pack today because think about it. If the premise of this promo is to try to drain people's clubs and uh, drain our coins from our accounts, which they are starting to do a very good job of, especially yesterday with this pack, it doesn't seem super super draining, right? But 50k times two, people are saving this for team of the year. That's 100,000 coins. 85 is going up like crazy. That just all that stuff little by little has a big effect on the market. Could they do like an 84 plus upgrade or an 85 times three? I think something along those lines is possible to, for today. Slight chance, but possible. But still, I think if I were most of you, if I had any 85s, 86s, or even that higher tier fodder, I would look to sell because what we have again coming this weekend is more weekend league rewards with tradable supply and more lightning rounds and just supply in general. I mean, we have a Neymar, we have a Ben Yedder, and we have a Kempembe in this, in this Centurions promo. If we get some other big names, which I would assume that we would at least get some big names in a team too, people are going to open some packs as well. People are going to open some lightning rounds just to try to have the opportunity to pack a new Centurion card. I would take today's opportunity and yesterday's opportunity of the fodder market exploding as much as it did to sell those types of cards. Maybe if you bought 83s at like 800 or 850, maybe you're holding those, right? Because those, you're just waiting at some point for them to absolutely go bananas. But for the fodder that has gone up a ton, especially the 85s, I would take the cash on those and not look back, honestly, because 85s will probably never go higher than that. Um, again, right? 14, 15K max price for those guys. Absolutely crazy. So with that marquee matchup supply today, that's the supply that I'm talking about every single Thursday. As you guys know, we get the marquee matchups SBC, which no token in this one today. So could there be a few less people doing it? Maybe, but marquee matchups is something that people do every single week to try to have a chance to pack promo cards, of course, or save these maybe for a team of the year as well. This always brings supply to the market on Thursdays. And that's something that we almost always talk about on Thursday. So a bit of a, a bit of a drop on the fodder market today because of that supply. And then some people still take tradable division rivals rewards. I take untradable. I think untradable is the way to go since you get more packs, especially in the team of the year save pack grind that a lot of people are on right now. Probably get more packs if you take untradable or option two, basically. Uh, so saving those up. I still think there'll be a little bit of supply today from that as well. And that could affect your Centurions cards. And I wanted to look at these because Thursdays is a time where we often look at the promo team that's about to go out of packs and we think, hey, should we invest? And again, thinking about the general landscape of the market right now, I'm not looking to invest in these cards yet. I think next week, even though these cards will be out of packs with team of the year right around the corner, probably more prices dropping around the rest of the market. I think some of these prices could drop as well. I know Kim Pembe, Trent, Ben Yedder, Neymar, Jamie Vardy, there are some pretty desirable cards in this team that will probably end up going higher in price after the team of the year market crashes a bit more next week. But I think I would wait until next week 
to look into those prices and look into those cards for an investment. And we'll be talking a lot about team of the year investing and stuff like that next week in some videos as well. I mean, even just to throw it back one week ago during winter wild cards too, if you take a look at prices that we have now, how many of these guys are higher in price today than they were last week when we went to invest in them for an out of packs rise, right? Kimmage, is lower, right? He was around 600 last week. He got panicked on Friday morning, but he's lower. Benzema's way lower. St. Maximin is like 20,000 coins lower. There's only two cards. Fabio is up like, I think he was like 35K. So he's up 40 uh, to 40,000 coins. And then of course, Robertson, being a Prem left back, being pretty rare, and having two Liverpool cards in this Centurions team has helped this price go up a lot. So two cards out of the whole squad from last week, but not counting the fodder ones that only spiked because of the uh, 85s going bananas today. But most of the cards from this last Premel team from the meta market did not rise that much, which makes me a little hesitant, especially considering the market conditions that we are in, investing in these guys today. But I do believe some of these cards will drop down a little lower, and there might be some fluctuations for some movements on these, maybe to tomorrow night, Friday night, with um, maybe a little bit of buyback on the market, depending on how the content goes. So definitely keep an eye on those, but it's not a place in the market that I really want to invest. And as we talk about the market in general, before we talk about an SBC that I think we could see today, the market's really stagnant, right? There are hours of panic selling. This messy, 94 messy, the road to the knockouts, I bought that at 896,000 coins yesterday, right around the content drop. You're still having the hours of panic selling as cards drop down in price, and then they bounce back. He's even gone a little bit higher, right? He's 980 right now. I sold him a couple of hours ago. You still have those fluctuations, but for the most part, the market is pretty stagnant. I would think more of the same is going to be happening today on this game. Prices are probably going to stay around the same, have a couple fluctuations, but not too many movements. So just continue to be careful where you're trading. And just remember the team of the year is still right around the corner. Uh, and, and, you know, it's still an opportunity to sell cards from your team. If you have any tradable cards that are still up in value, I've se I see plenty of cards out there on the market that have not dropped very much at all. This is my number one example right now. Vinny Jr.'s path to glory has been 1.3 million coins for the past couple weeks. He's still 1.3 mil um, and has not dropped at all. I expect he will drop later on this weekend, but as of now, he hasn't dropped at all. So you're still looking good if you have that card. And there's many other options like that across the market that are the same thing. Let's talk about today's content a little bit more in general because one leak that we had yesterday, we're looking forward to some more leaks, of course, today and some more news about the Centurions team too. But this might be an SBC that we see today on the game. I thought this was going to be dropped yesterday because recently um, when Sheriff has been tweeting out these cards as stats expected on SBC specifically, like the Raul Garcia earlier in the week, the SBC came like that same day. So we tweeted this yesterday before content. I was like, okay, this might be our SBC, but it in fact was not. So since the stats are still expected and Thursdays are days where we've gotten player SBCs pretty commonly in promos in the past, this might be our SBC today and it's already impacted the market. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw this, but West Ham links, specifically Tilo Carrer and Lukas Paqueta, popped off yesterday when this card was leaked. Why is there so much hype around a Declan Rice? Well, Declan Rice does not have any promo cards yet this year, I think, unless he's got an inform or something. And he's just kind of a big name. Uh, in, in the Premier League as a young center defensive mid, played a lot in the World Cup. Every time he gets a special card, people get excited for Declan Rice and for the player that he is in real life. And a lot of people invested in the links to this card and it moved the market because of the hype of this SBC, right? These are stats expected as well. 80 pace Premier League center defensive mid with 89 physical and 88 defense. If the price of this SBC is good, this will be a card that a lot of people will want to fit into their squads. A lot of people run Premier League squads. A lot of people would need this guy in their team, especially with the English links, with more English links upcoming. Remember, we still have that Ryan Kent and the Tavernier SBC that are leaked. This could be a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool SBC card to have in the game. But again, what I said there, the key here is the price. He's going to have the hype because he's English, because he's Premier League. It all comes down to the price. Now, Paqueta going up is kind of an interesting one because some people might replace this Paqueta in their team with 
this new Declan Rice SBC if it comes out today. But other cards that might take a hit uh, because of this, maybe Gold Conte. I wouldn't expect the 91 Conte, even though some people might say, oh, wow, Nate, look at the 91 Conte compared to this Declan Rice. They're pretty similar cards, both 80 pace. Declan Rice has better physical. It's Conte. It's not really comparable. But some other Premier League center offensive mids that may take a hit in price. This is a Caria, right? This is regarded as one of the best um, defensive midfielders in the Premier League. But if you have the opportunity to sell this card from your team's tradable, to put this card in and not have to worry about the team of the year market crash and get to use a new card, not super crazy different. 86 pace versus 80. Yeah, there's a big difference there. But, you know, people might go ahead and do that. Here's one that might get impacted a lot too. Casemiro. 215,000 coins. Pretty comparable card, right? Those are cards that we're talking about here. These could go down if a Declan Rice is released. But a lot of your English cards with the hype of this Declan Rice and people wanting to put it in their team could go up. Grealish was one yesterday that was down at about 90,000 coins. He dropped a bit after content when Dec when the Declan Rice was not released, but he's kind of back up at 98,000 coins. Watch your English links. We were talking about this a lot earlier in the week with the Kent and with the Tavernier leak, but if we get those cards later on this weekend and we had a good value Declan Rice dropped today, English links could be headed for a nice rise over the weekend, um, even though we're in the midst of a team of the year kind of market crash scenario. So watch out for this. I still have those Ledley Kings that you saw me buy in last night's video at like 185 because I'm waiting for this SBC to drop. Again, it all comes down to the value. If they drop this today and the potential for this SBC to be overpriced is there. We've had good, well-priced SBCs recently, right? The Raul Garcia was fodder, but it was cheap. Mares was a bit more expensive. Premier League, Manchester City. Will the Premier League tax come into play with the Declan Rice? Hopefully that SBC is less than 150,000 coins and it's very completable for a lot of people because that would make the market move a bit more and people would just like that a lot more if it's cheap. So I think that'll be probably one of the biggest aspects of the current content on the game and affecting the market today. Most cards that will be moving and fluctuating in price will probably base around that SBC dropping. But again, we talked about the loading screen for today, marquee matchups, and then the, just the potential of maybe another gamble pack. Um, if you have 83s, I would still hold those. If you have 84s, you could hold them for today, but I think 84s would end up being cheaper if we don't get anything else. They'd be cheaper tomorrow on Friday and into the weekend than they are today. 84s are only up a little bit they didn't rise that much this week of course 85s and the top tier fodder rose more so not expecting a crazy day today guys really not but hopefully that deck and rice can make some waves and hopefully we get some news about centurion's team number two now the last thing i want to talk about is this tweet from ea sports about an hour ago from when i was recording this uh, when i'm recording this video we have scheduled maintenance on January 12th from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. UTC. So again, they do this right before Division Rivals Rewards, which is very annoying. Um, and it's just, I don't know, there's got to be a better time for maintenance. Do it on like Mondays in the evening instead of, I don't know, Wednesdays and a Thursday morning. It's very confusing. Anyways, uh, they're taking the game down for eight hours. Eight hours of maintenance. And I said eight hours of maintenance. The transfer market bug must be a tough fix. But according to what they tweeted earlier in the day, this maintenance is probably actually tied to the title update uh, that is coming, which this update that they are dropping in the game absolutely has nothing to do with the transfer market bug being fixed, which is very, very disappointing. But there is some stuff in here that is getting fixed. They're changing some gameplay. So it is a new patch potentially that they're working on today. I don't know. Usually the patches go live on uh, Tuesdays, I think. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, if this is related to the patch or not. Maybe it's something they have to do in the game ahead of the patch. Maybe this is just maintenance for team of the year. Maybe, who knows, right? This is just a normal time for maintenance, but it's a very annoying time. So if you're not able to get on the game, then that is that. And of course, I don't like to do a lot of trading around the time that the servers go down. Uh, as you can see right now, I did catch a Mane on a very low bid right before uh, I started recording this video. This Mane is usually about 530K, which you can see he is right now. Got very lucky on that bid, but I don't really try to trade around when the servers go down. A lot of people are like, Nate, get on bids. You could get some really, really low bids. Yes, you technically could, but also people know that. So, you know, trying to go and looking on bids on like informs or icons or promo cards like 
you have to be on at the time of the servers going down and also hope that the servers are going to be down for a long time because sometimes when EA say the servers are going to be down for like seven or eight hours, they're only down for like two or three. So it's just a pain that they do this because especially for us that are in NA or if you're awake at this time, like when this video is going live at midnight Eastern, like this is a perfect time to grind your last minute rivals games just to take the game offline right before a rewards period is just very, very annoying. So that's kind of our gripe right now with EA Sports and having that uh, being very annoying. But just fingers crossed that whatever they're doing today for a transfer market bug glitch, like or whatever they're doing today with maintenance, hopefully it fixes that glitch. Please EA Sports fix that glitch. It's so very annoying. But hopefully today on Thursday, we get some more news about Centurion's team too. And hopefully we see some of those players that we want to see and have one last little glimmer of hope before team of the year. But like I said, team of the year is where all the hype is right now. Keep saving those packs if that's what you're doing. Those 83 times 10s look pretty good for that. And so do the 81 doubles. If you want to save 81 doubles, they might be available during team of the year again. But if you want to save some up to open when the full team is out and just or if you're enjoying that sort of grind, these are perfect for that. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Accountant and I'll catch you guys on the stream today. Peace out.